What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today, as you can see, I'm going to be showing you guys this awesome redstone creation map right here. So basically, this is actually five different ways of uh, smelting different type of foods and it is just really awesome. So if you want to try it out for yourself, the link is in the description below. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like and also leave a comment below as well. So welcome to 5 Cool Auto Smelters map. Uh, the map was created by this person right here, so all credits go to him. And uh, also there is his Twitter right there, so I'll leave that in the description below. So the first one is this one right here. So like I said, there's about five different ones that you can actually try out. Uh, they do, you know, basically the same thing, but in a different way. And if you do want to kind of rebuild this for yourself and you're good at redstone, then just take apart the map and I guess try and rebuild it for yourself because I don't really know how it works. So basically right here to our right is a little tutorial and then to our left is basically the actual thing. So uh, basically it's saying right here, so inputs, uh, you know, the fuel, and then the results. So that's what we're going to get. Uh, so let's actually try it right here. So let's just remove this and put this into the chest right here. So if I do that, it's going to remove it. And then we're going to get this one right here. So the coal, put that into the chest. But before I do, just to double check, as you can see in this chest right here, there is no cooked meat at all. But if I put it into this one, the, uh, the coal itself, and then we just sit and uh, kind of wait until something pops up in here. So just give it time and uh, it will eventually just appear out of nowhere, which is the cooked meat. So as you can see, it just popped up and now we actually have some cooked steaks. So how awesome is that? I have no idea how it works. I really like the little concept of it and also the building itself is very awesome. So that's one way. All right, guys. So this is the second one right here. So to our right is the tutorial once again. I believe for every single one there is a tutorial. So that's just to kind of test it out, but I already know what to do. So we're going to jump over to our left and we're going to try it out. So basically, it's kind of the same thing. It's going to do the same thing, but obviously it's a little bit different. So we're going to get this right here. So this is the input, just like that. And we're going to place it into this chest right here. So once I actually do that, as you can see, the meat is just going to stay there. It's not going to do anything. And what I need to do is actually just flick um, this lever right here with the, uh, the input right here. So if I go like that, and then I go into here, as you can see, now the meat is no longer there. So basically, we do that again. So we get the coal right here just go like that there we go and we put it into this chest and if i do that as you can see it's still there until i use the lever just like that and then it's going to remove and uh, basically that's all we need to do and uh, let's just put this on just like that and now we sit back wait for the meat to uh you know actually get cooked and um yeah as you can see right there we have two steak right now which is cooked and i didn't even have to do anything it's just a little cool way of doing this in pocket edition and i really like it so the third one right here, as you can see, we have a tutorial once again, and then to our left is kind of the same thing. So uh, basically, we just go here and uh, get rid of this because this is the input. So these are going to go on both sides because we have a chest right here with the coal and uh, on the right side as well. So we just place it just like this, so one on the left and then one on the right just like that. And then quickly go and get the coal and then place it into this chest right there. And then it's going to drop down and uh, now it's going to start cooking in here and then go into the chest. I really, really like this kind of uh, concept right here of these um, smelting kind of ways. So go like that. And now we're going to have two uh, in this chest. So we have one right now because the other one is still cooking. And when, you know, that is done, it's going to go into that chest. And now we're going to have two cooked steaks. So how awesome is that? So go into here and as you can see, we now have two steaks in our chest. As you can see, this one's actually going to have a minecart. So actually two minecarts doing some stuff and we're actually going to drop it into where the carpet is located and then it's actually going to do it that way. So let's go over here and test it out. So let's go and uh, go right here. So the input, just break that and then drop the item exactly right here. So just like that. And as you can see, there we go. It just disappears. Then we actually use the fuel, so the coal, just like that. Drop it exactly on here. And, and there we go. <laughs> I thought I almost messed that up. But now, we just go and go like this. And I'm pretty sure all we have to do now is just wait. So I'm not too sure what these buttons do. I think they're just kind of for the looks uh, of this decoration. But if we look in this chest, we just sit back, relax, and there we go. As you can see. And now it's making some sound effects. But now we have a cooked steak just like that. So this is the lucky last one right here. So we have some minecarts once again, doing some weird stuff. And uh, I haven't even tried this out for myself yet. So we're going to try this out together. So let's go over here and try it out. So let's see. So we're going to put uh, this one right here into the chest, uh, just like that. And uh, what's going on down here? Can we actually see behind the scenes? Oh, we actually can. 
Okay, that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so I'm not too sure what this is all about. Have no idea. But anyways, let's go back up here. And oh, there's a door. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. So uh, let's place the coal into the chest just like that. And now we should be able to hear some kind of clicking once it's done. Now if I look into the chest, there's still nothing there. I believe it's still cooking, but you can hear this little clicking sound. And there we go. We got the meat. So how awesome is that? So this is, you know, five different uh, ways of, I guess, smelting some food and doing some really awesome stuff with the redstone creation. So if you guys want to try it out for yourself, the link is in the description below. If you want to kind of rebuild it for yourself, if you are good at redstone, then you can go ahead and do that. I really can't explain how it's done because I'm not the greatest at redstone. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and also leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. See ya.